time for Nerdgasm. Hey, what's up guys? Jerry here, aka Barnacles, and today we're finally making a Barna vlog after forever, and I'm going to bring you guys along today while I go do something cool. I'm actually headed to the Eastside 3D Printer Build Camp, hosted in Redmond, Washington right now. Uh, I'm going to be helping a bunch of people learn how to build 3D printers, hanging out, uh, checking out some new technology, and having some fun. You guys are coming along for the ride, literally, because we're, we're in my car. Well, after driving around and getting lost, I finally found the building. Let's go inside. This looks like the right room. Think space? Let's see, hold on here. Yep, that's a bunch of nerds. Hi. That's a video. You guys know who this guy is. Look at, oh, look at this. <laughs> you thought it was a picture of lols. You're, like like, you're such an amateur. Look at this, hold on, hold on. let's get free plug. 3D printing nerd. Uh, da, da. Otherwise known as my competition. Yeah. I will crush you, crush you. So guys, this is the first 3D printer you've built? Yep. yep. Yeah, how's it going so far? Pretty good. Pretty, pretty easy, as advertised, or, or do you feel like you're duked a little bit? Uh, well, it's not pretty anything yet, so. Well, I mean, that's to be expected. It's still kind of early, gentlemen. Yeah. Come on. You got to give it a couple more time. There's only about, what, 5,000 more steps? Oh, uh, 5,001. About this much. Really? Well, at least it comes with a book. Yeah. That's better than most printers I've seen where you have to go on and download the PDF. They use iFixit's instructional guide. Ooh. So online. Really super and how much is this printer? Five ninety nine. All right, that is pretty cheap. It's got a decent, decent build volume too. Two hundred by two hundred by two hundred. Well, a lot of the 3D printer manufacturers I work with will charge like, you know, four to five hundred dollars to build one of the printers over the kit. So I'd say that that puts this in a really, really good price point. Today's shameless self promotion. Hey, Joel. Joel, see what I mean now when I say get on my level, bro? All right, fine. Markers are right over there. Get on my level. Shill, 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 shill. Good job. Good job. That's going to get you at least, I don't know, one, two, three, four, five. I don't know, like five subs, dude. So now you're now you're in my video. You want to say hi to everybody? <laughs> see, that's, that's the guy right there that designed that printer over there. See, right there, other side of the world, his printer right over there. It's technology. <laughs> This is a really cool design. I do like right. the design of this. It's it's kind of remarkable that that it's um it's very straightforward. The instructions are really good. All right, well these two ambitious gentlemen look like they're way ahead of the curve here. Is this what you guys got already? Yep. Just look at this. You guys are gonna have the first printer done by like a long shot. <laughs> this thing has a bigger build volume too than the yes, Mark One, right? It is slightly larger. That's awesome, but it looks like it's about the same size, maybe. Well, it, a little wider. It has to be very similar because there's an upgrade kit available for the i3s to turn them into the Mark Twos. That's actually really awesome. So um, anybody who's got a Mark Two can uh, can upgrade the um, anybody who has the original i3 yeah. can upgrade. And the the head, it's a new heated bed, so it's more consistent across the entire bed, and you don't have clips anymore. That's why they get a little better build volume. Awesome. What's the what's the upgrade cost? Um, I think it's uh, under two hundred dollars. Oh, geez. So, but the only the only downside to the upgrade is you pretty much have to disassemble the whole thing. <laughs> I'd say that's probably pretty typical for most 3D printers. <laughs> All right, well, they got a little ways left to go. Yep, same story over here. And the only people that haven't broke for lunch. Always Although, working. Hello. Always working. Always working. So when these are all done, we should have them all work together to make another 3D printer. So many 3D printer parts, so many. That's a pretty sweet mug you got there, bro. Mm. Looks nothing like you, though. Tastes like high school. <laughs> Come for the 3D printing, stay for the red vines. And beverage, and whatever that is. Oh, good. Okay. Gonna put this food right into my face. Yeah, see? It's catchy. I know, but they put water in there. Not even Mountain Dew. Seriously? Not even rum. But hey, at least we got the free lunch we were promised. I will work for it. You gotta lunch. take what you get in this whole YouTube industry. And uh, <laughs> that's, right. that's a paycheck right there. And a cookie. And a cookie. There you go. Yeah, there you go. Yep. Designed a part for the space shuttle. Yep. NASA goes there. You got this. Damn, he looks pro with that. Hey, you guys look like you almost got like a printer here. Stamping look at this. Progress. All right, that's starting to look like a printer. That's, well, I don't know. Kind of, yeah, maybe a little. Yeah. That one's looking pretty printerish. All right, we got some printer. Okay, so we're, we're going through the phases here. What you doing, Joel? I'm Hmm. Yeah, we took a break and went and got a Slurpee. You know, what are you going to do? Today's video is sponsored by Slurpee. 
Not really. I wish. Where's my check? <laughs> Where's my check? Give me my check. It's the brain. This is good. So this is your the brain. Yes. <laughs> so Joel here, the 3D printing guy. <laughs> well, anyways, he's gonna help me assemble my tracer gun that I 3D printed. Yeah, but it's not gonna be in this video. You guys have to watch the next video, which will hopefully be out in a couple days. Knowing me, probably a month, year. I don't know. It'll be here eventually. It'll be this year. Just subscribe. You'll you'll know when you're getting it. But we're we're gonna assemble that because these guys are all being really slow with their 3D. <laughs> printer assembly. I mean, come on, seriously, guys. So now, now, now we need to just burn some time. All right, Joel, you good with that? I'm good with that. All right, let's burn some time. Joel, you done good. Thanks, man. You done real good. Thanks, man. I'm gonna make you do all my 3D printing stuff now. Sounds like a deal. Are you breathing heavy right now? I'm always breathing heavy. I'm fat. <laughs> ah, look at all these guys still building their 3D printers. We already like took our first 3D print and put it together over here. Granted, all the parts were already printed. This is looking yeah. good. <laughs> All right, I'm starting to see power supplies on these things, and it uh, looks like we have the front panel. It's the business box. Oh, yeah. Look at this. You guys, that is beautiful. That is aesthetically pleasing. How are we doing over here? How are the teachers doing? <laughs> Ladies. That's still kind of looking like it's... Uh, it's kind of a printer. I see some wires. You guys should just leave the wires out. I think that looks cool. So is that printer actually going to the school? Is that this one and this one and that one? And he's donating. His. Oh, awesome! That's what it's for. And if any parts break, you can just go download the models and make your own. Before any parts. Yeah, yeah. You have to do it beforehand, though. Uh, yeah, I found that out the hard way at my first Alti Maker. Dun dun dun. Oh my god, after hours and hours of sitting around, we have the first printer built. Yay! So are you guys the first ones with a printer that might be functional? Ready? Let's do it. Hold on. Da, da, da. Three, two, one. Any smoke? Um. Uh, guys? Yeah. Um. Yeah, that's... Hmm. Hurry up, Mark II. You guys still have a chance to be the first printer that actually works. Absolutely. You got this. Rock and rolling. Well, you better hurry. They're switching cables around oh, over here. Cables. I've done that so many times. Because, <laughs> like, what's wrong? The batteries are all back uh, So, are we going to see some magic smoke? Huh? No, yeah. As long as it'll be magical. Just up here. Just in yeah, the circle. No, no, I, I need to get... Uh, one of these, I need to get some slack now. Ah, okay. Hey, Chris. Hi. How you doing? Come on, guys. The force is with you. All right. All right. All right. Here we go. Take two. Take two. Take two. Two, three. Oh, yeah. Yay! Woo! Oh, Come on. Here we go. No, wait, wait, wait. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, 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 w
Says ready. Now we're right. cooking. Tell, tell it to preheat and see if it catches fire. What do we do with that? How do we do that? Oh, push the button. Just press the button. Then go down to preheat. Uh, okay. Power out. And then do like PLA. All right, here we go. Here we go. Let's see if the numbers go up. There we go. 25, 26, 27. Oh, see, look at the that. Hot end. The bottom one is the bed. Yeah, after the hot end heats, the bed should start going, right? Because I don't think it does them at the same time. Yep, there, no, there it goes. There it goes. You've done it, sir. Hey, hey. Get, him in, get him in the picture. You've too. done it. Woo! The first printer working. Sorry, guys. First printer. Yay! Oh, look at that sucker go. All right, now for the hard part. Make it print something. Okay. All right. Better auto calibration, uh, right? Yes. That, oh yeah. That was one of the benefits. So with each print on mine, it goes through that calibration phase. It's worth it if it gets the bed leveling, right? Yep. All right. What do you say we show these guys what real 3D printing is? What, 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 what do we have here? You didn't 3D print the electronics, obviously, no, but, but what no. do we got here? I uh, bought the uh, the car, the car body there. Ooh. I built yeah, this. Let's we'll say it. So the, the master of this was 3D printed, and I vacuum formed this shell. So there's a, a shell. I got some lights in there. That's awesome. So you can make more of these. I can make more. Ooh. The uh, These pieces here are 3D print, uh, printed. These were in a PLA on my um, Dremel. And then sanded super duper smooth and awesome. painted to look all shiny and chrome, as you would. Added some rust effects there. More 3D printed pieces Dude, back that there. that is awesome. The, uh, I just got my Ultimaker and immediately got the, um, the transparent uh, PLA on there. To that do turned the, out uh, amazing. To do the lights. So I got my little Man, lights in there. you're printing some tiny stuff. Isn't that crazy? Dude, that is super cool. Super tiny parts. Dude, the Ultimaker is awesome. It's so cool. Yeah, I like those guys. I go, I go to World Maker Fair with them every year. Oh, yeah. Dude, that's awesome. So that's uh, my little map. Mad Max inspired car. Ooh. I made some custom. Uh, Got to have custom rims. For custom it. rims. Yeah. The dubs. Right there. Are they spinners? Uh, no, you know what? That would be pretty awesome to make some. <laughs> dude, real dude, you got to do some real spinners. I gotta add to my, this has inspired me to make like five more cars like this. So dude, that's awesome. Wow! Oh, right, let's check this guy out. Because everybody's everybody's gonna nerd out over this hard. Oh, it's Mr. Handy. It's Mr. Handy. Look at this guy. You can check out his, his uh, cute backside. Ooh. Ta -da. <laughs> so the master for this was also 3D printed. I, I built it all in CAD, printed it out again on my on the Dremel. Yep. Um, the text though, really, really tiny text. So I printed this piece tool. separately don't and then yeah. ran it through my laser engraver and you can just to etch the text Ooh. in there. Yeah, because yeah, I was going to say there's no way like an SLA printer would have no, trouble no. with that. That's crazy. So then this guy got molded and cast. This is all urethane casting. <laughs> so so you did the master in 3D, polished it all up, got it smooth, made a cast, and now this is in urethane. Yep. So oh, I made dude. like one mold of the leg, and then I made three copies oh, in, uh, in a plastic. Uh, a couple of different, you know, he's got a different accessory, a little pincer, a little uh, flamethrower there. Little, dude, that uh, thing is killer. There we go. I really, 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 really need one of these in my life. I would say, well, I know a guy. You know, you know a guy? I know a guy. Let's make that happen. I got a robot guy. Well, sir, thank you for showing us what a 3D printer can do when you actually know what you're doing. <laughs> All right, so here we have the Mark II laying down its first 3D print. It's actually doing a fantastic job. Here, that's, that's working great. Uh, we have some technical difficulties going on over here with this one. Uh, it blew a fuse. Oh, oh, whoa, was there power? There's power. Whoa, what'd you do? Switch these cores around. <laughs> you, found, okay, you found the short? Oh, no, there we go. The uh, apparently the short was in the fuse. It was a defective fuse. So is it heating now? It was it... heating, and I'm on cooldown now, so I can put uh, package it back up. Yes, so we have two printers. There's a Mark 1 online, Mark 2 online. How many How many printers? Online. Online, online, we got a three. Online, yeah, four? Can we get a five? No? <laughs> All right. So, okay, they might be last, but their printer's going to work the best. You watch. You mark my words. So I spent my entire day... Eating lunch with these people, M&Ms, drinking Red Bull, and building printers. Well, I didn't really build a printer. I just, I just built a tracer gun. But you guys ought to watch my other video for that. I built the tracer gun. Shut up, Joel. Gosh. <laughs> I told you what to do. Okay. You just frothed at the mouth. Okay, I pointed the camera in your general direction. Come on, it's still something. Jeez. The guy lays down a little super glue, and all of a sudden he thinks he's the big 3D printer guy. <laughs> but seriously, Joel, I love you. I love you so much. Like, you don't even know, like, inappropriate levels. <laughs> Slow and steady wins the race, huh, guys? Oh, boy. Let's see. Hey, some guy just left without a functioning uh, 3D printer. I saw that. I saw that. Don't worry. <laughs>
Training. If I can leave with a functional one, I'm mean. Apparently slow in leaving wins the race. Yeah. <laughs> Alright boss, well it's been an absolute pleasure. I have to get going to make videos for these people of the internet. For coming by. It's been a pleasure. Alright, see you guys. Bye. 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 All right, guys, well, I'm finally headed home. I had a blast at the Eastside 3D Printer Building Camp today. I have to say that it was a very successful event. I'm only sad that I didn't build a 3D printer myself. I had the opportunity to, but I didn't get started soon enough. I decided not to, and then by the end of the day, I was kicking myself in the ass because uh, it looked like it was a really fun project. Almost everybody in the class finished the entire build in one day. There were a couple little problems that got mitigated and a couple things that had to get redone uh, that set a couple of people back, but for the most part, the printer was fairly easy to build um, going around helping everybody uh, it, the kit comes with all the tools to build it so you'd only have to make sure that you have the tools and it's the Prusa i3 if you guys are wondering they built the mark 1 and a mark 2 the mark 2 is actually really nice um, I liked it but you know it's a printer people have been wondering you know what a good printer is for you know five six hundred bucks and I would have to say that this is actually a really solid kit I also like that all the parts on it are 3d printed so you can literally 3d print replacement parts if something breaks and that's something that I really liked about my Ultimaker original that I had back in the days, since so many of the parts on it can be replaced with 3D printed variants. But uh, I definitely had a blast. Huge thanks to David for inviting me out. It was really cool hanging out with Joel Telling, the 3D printer nerd all day, and Chris Perillo stopped by and hung out for a little while. Um, so it was definitely a fun day. I had a blast. If you guys enjoy these Barna vlogs coming along with me for my ride and doing my thing on some of these days where I get to do something cool, let me know down in the comments or slap that like button. Uh, I definitely miss doing the Barna vlogs, and if there's an interest in them, then why not? I'll keep on making them. So I'm just about home, so I'm going to go ahead and shut it down. I hope you guys really, really enjoyed the video as much as I enjoyed making it. And uh, until next time. Just having a little fun. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please take a moment and subscribe to my channel. It helps me a lot. Also, come over to Twitter. I'm at Barnacles. I'm a real social guy. Also, if you have a couple of minutes, check out some of these many other videos. I made them myself. <laughs>